presenting in Google Meet. Slide control. A short one today to complete our Google Meet series. Presenting Google Slides in Google Meet used to be a cumbersome affair. As someone who ran onboarding training remotely all the way through the pandemic and beyond, I find it was definitely a skill to manage Meet tabs, slide tabs, presentation tabs, and all the various tracker tabs that I needed to have open. Last year, Google started to make progress on closing the gaps in interacting with Google Slides whilst working in Google Meet. The elements are subtle and the changes appear small. But if you are used to working with presentations remotely, either to internal stakeholders or to external clients, you will know that you don't want to leave anything to chance. Take five minutes today to see how these Google Meet elements can take your presentations to the next level, reducing background noise for you as a presenter and creating a slicker, more confident presentation. Presentation controls are widely available in Workspace Individual, Business Starter Standard and Plus. Enterprise Starter Essentials Standard and Plus users will see this functionality. And if you are an education user, you will have access with a standard plus or teaching and learning upgrade subscription. So let's take a look at the development in the controls. In November of 2022, controls began to appear in the Meet window for users presenting Google Slides, which allowed the presenters to control the slide progression without having to navigate away from the Meet tab. With the presentation open, share the tab and the controls will appear in a bubble, allowing the user to launch the slideshow. Alternatively, if the user wants to share already in presentation mode, Launch in presenter view, then share the tab. Presentation controls will appear open and ready to go. Use the chevrons to progress or reverse the slides or click the slide number to select a specific slide number to jump to. When the user reaches a slide that has an embedded link, a link button will appear in the controls. Clicking the button will show any available links. Click the appropriate link to open in a new tab and use the share this tab instead button to allow visibility for attendees. When finished presenting, use the exit slideshow button to return to the slides interface. In January 2023, a small tweak to the controls allowed speaker notes to be brought into the Meet tab. These appear in a side-by-side -side view for the presenter only, allowing the presenter to follow notes without breaking eye contact with the Meet tab. Access from the notes icon. If there are no notes, the box will remain, but display a no notes message. For detailed notes, the presenter notes window will remain the same size, but will have a scroll bar to allow the user to read through maintaining that all-important eye contact and keeping eye movement controlled and tight as sweeping back and forward eye movement is a dead giveaway that the presenter is reading from a script. Easy share access feels like a small function. But trust me, to be able to quickly share the link and set the permissions with Google automating elements is a massive time saver while presenting. The function is available before the slideshow starts and remains visible in the live present controls. Upon clicking the share button, Google will review permissions. If all attendees have viewing permissions set, the pop-up will confirm that the file has been shared. Otherwise, Google will prompt the user to set permissions for any attendees that do not have permission to view the document. All permission levels are available in the prompt, or the user can choose to share without permission, something I might do if I wish to audit the delegates actually accessing the resource. Early in May, Google introduced a long anticipated solution, co-presenter controls. This functionality allows the presenter controls to be made available to multiple attendees as required. 
To nominate co-presenters, the presentation must be shared to the meet and the co-presenter must be in the call. Once these conditions are met, access the co-presenter icon, which will open the people menu. From the hot dog next to the attendee's name, select add as co-presenter. A confirmation pop-up outlines the controls which you are sharing and these include the ability to move the slides forward and access any linked media. In this way, presentations with multiple presenters can be delivered without the disruption of the speaker having to say, next slide please, to whomever is manning the slide deck. It is, however, important to note that co-presenters will not get visibility on speaker notes, so ensure any speaking participants are aware that they will still need their cue cards. Now, for any die-hard presenters out there, some functions are noticeably absent or different. The laser pointer is not available in the Meet controls. This is fair enough as the pointer needs to be directed on the Google Slide tab itself in order for it to be seen. As a presenter, I'm not a huge fan of the laser pointer, to be honest. Feedback from delegates have ranged from it's very distracting to the fact that colorblind attendees find it difficult to see. For me, I think it can just become a crutch very quickly. And if you are finding yourself tracking the words on a slide as you speak, you're probably over-reliant on the pointer. Auto Advance will continue to operate while presenting in the Meet window. However, to stop, start or change the speed, a user needs to access the controls from the Sheets tab itself. Lastly, the Sheets question and answer function is great, but it will not appear on the controls when presenting in Google Meet. However, it doesn't need to if you are using the existing Q&A function in Google Meet. This function is easy for participants to interact with. It allows for upvoting and allows the presenter to mark questions answered. The only missing element is the ability to display the question at the top of the slide deck, which was a nice touch. However, it does have the added benefit of having the questions emailed to the host post-session, which is great for review and follow-up. So really, it comes down to the presenter's preference here. Personally, it's not a deal breaker. I'd be quite happy to run my question and answer within the Google Meet. Overall, I hope you feel a little more comfortable with running your presentation from inside your Meet window. Now that you know how to progress and jump to specific slides, view your speaker notes in a side-by-side -side view, share and set permissions in one click, and assign co-presenter status to other delegates. That is the end of our Google Meet series. If you've missed any of the previous videos, please go back and check them out. And until next week, see you then.